see the green one? Uh, yes, I do. Do we do it at the same time? Uh, no, you don't. Do you want us on either side? Of yes, I do. <laughs> Exchanging recipes for making a cake. <laughs> Many years later, as Brett Miller goes on to tell us in her biography, Bishop and Lowell were exchanging recipes for non alcoholic drinks and strategies for staying sober. Oh, I think I'm going to have to remove this in just a moment. And, uh, yes. Poor Sam. Poor Sam. <laughs> Exchanging recipes. <laughs> Exchanging hats. <laughs> uh, these, uh, these activities remind us that the relation between art and business has not always been one of going one going to the other hat in hand. Uh, or the other tossing spare change into the hat on the sidewalk, or passing the hat, or the buck. Both were once engaged in trade, as Miss Sook and Mr. Ha Ha Jones were, uh, when he gave her a bottle of moonshine in exchange for one of her 30 famous fruit cakes in Truman Capote's story, A Christmas Memory. Let's join with our friends in the business community and honor our inner fruitcakes. <laughs> fruitcakes can be free verse, hats can be haiku, and even a cookbook can be a kind of a poem. Now, Scott mentioned um, the neglect to which Chemin de Fer has been subjected, but I believe that I can demonstrate an even greater degree of absolute ignorance with respect to the poem that I'm about to read. Now, I must instruct my, my assistants. <laughs> um, when I pat you on the shoulder, kindly raise, uh, turn your uh, 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 placard to me, the audience and raise it high and proud, uh, the way that the coyote would when the roadrunner oh. kicked him. Or something. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, I'm about to read to you one of Elizabeth Bishop's most profound poems. It is entitled, Lines Written, no, it, it isn't Homer, or anything, uh, Lines Written in a Copy of Fanny Farmer's Boston Cooking School cookbook, <laughs> given to Frank Bedard. You won't become a gourmet cook by studying our Fanny's book, her thoughts on food and keeping house are scarcely those of Levin Strauss. <laughs> Nevertheless, you'll find, Frank, dear, the basic elements are here. <laughs> and if a problem should arise, the souffle fall before your eyes, <laughs> or strange things happen to the rice. You know I love 
to give advice. <laughs> Elizabeth, Christmas, 1971. <laughs> now wait, now wait. There is a PS. Fanny should not be underrated. She has become sophisticated. She's picked up many gourmet tricks since the edition of 96. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, John. Very much.